Hey, what's going on, good people? Real quick, man, let's talk about uh, communication. A lot of people think they effectively communicate, but uh, I mean, do they really? Um, a lot of people don't even understand or know that it's two parts to communication, the deliverer of the message and the receiver of the message. Um, effective communication is more than just exchanging information. It's about understanding the emotional intent of the information that somebody is delivering. You know, you got to be able to also uh, deliver that message and receive that message because it has to be clear and concise. Um, you need to listen to gain insight of the full meaning of what's being said and try to understand somebody, you know, display a certain level of compassion and interest in the, in the subject. Um, when this don't happen, people tend to get frustrated or conflict uh, starts to arise. You know, most of the time, though, people try to deliver messages when they're stressed out or don't have control of their emotions. And when that happens, of course, they'd be overwhelmed. More likely, somebody can misinterpret or misunderstand what happens. Um, you know, or they pay more attention to the nonverbal signs of communication. You know, so to avoid conflict and misunderstandings, you definitely want to ensure that you're uh, calm and collected and relaxed when you're trying to deliver that message to somebody so they can understand you fully. Um, also, man, you want to ensure that this person got your undivided attention. You want to make sure that you're paying attention um, on both ends, the giver and the receiver. You can't communicate effectively if you're multitasking, you know, looking at your phone, uh, daydreaming, stirring off into space, different stuff like that. Um, and it can be overwhelming to have certain uh, physical body, you know, the cues and everything. Like if your eyes are wandering or if you pouting and stuff like that, those things can be uh, a hindrance to positive communication. So you want to limit your distractions as, as much as possible. Um, and don't forget about that negative body language. People tend to pick up on negative body language uh, more than you know. Um, and in fact, those non-verbals are effectively a part of communication. You know, when you cross your eyes or avoid eye contact. Some people get mad and they tap their feet or either grit their teeth, you know, it depends. Um, but also you can have that uh, negative that body language when you're agreeing with somebody, you know, the head shakes, the nods, the fist bumps and stuff like that. Um, so it all depends, but you definitely want to ensure that you're not interrupting somebody when they talk. So it's impossible to listen as well as try to talk. Um, so you can't concentrate on what I'm saying or what I'm trying to deliver to you if you are already planning to uh, reply. You know, it's it's nearly impossible, so I wouldn't recommend it. So I would definitely just say focus on what the person is trying to tell you, formulate your thoughts, process it, and then reply. So listen um, as much as you can and then reply. Um, try to be fully engaged on the speaker. You know, show interest in what's being said. Try to set aside your judgment, you know, those preconceived notions before you even go into a conversation. That'll also help you be more attentive during the conversation or the discussion. Um, just play some positive feedback. Try to connect with what they're talking, talking about. You know, it, it all depends. It can be at work or it can be at school. Um, of course, don't repeat verbatim what they're saying to you, but you definitely want to paraphrase or gain insight um, of what they're asking you to do. And, you know, if you don't understand some, ask them, you know, what do you mean? Is this, is this what you're talking about? Uh, one of my personal favorites, what I say to my daughter and pretty much everybody is, help me understand. That means help me understand what you're trying to, what you're trying to convey, just so I wouldn't misinterpret what's going on. Um, but again, none of this matters if the person can't comprehend what you're trying to articulate. So you definitely want to ensure that you're articulating as well as you can um, and as effectively as you can. So it's not about what you say, it's how you say it. I hear that a lot. Uh, I'm, I'm better now, but most of the time I used to hear that a lot. So hit me up. Let me know what you think, man. Mentoheal.com, www.mentoheal.com or on IG, M-E-N underscore T O underscore h-e-a-l m-e-n underscore t-o underscore h-e-a-l appreciate you effective communicating